stuff. No, that was awesome because it leads right into another topic that is really cutting edge is the understanding yep. that horizontal gene transfer um, is only the tip of the iceberg. Remember the paper oh, yeah. you boys recently about the fact that uh, we now know for sure that the bacteria are actually sharing cytoplasm. So, I mean, that's like a whole nother level. Two, two different bacteria, species of bacteria come together, share cytoplasm. Now they're both unique. They're different. They're, they're, not, they're not what they were, and they're something totally new, uh, a branch of evolution. And, and again, it comes back to these uh, biofilms or relationships. Craig, what was that term? Uh, basically, like it was not a dimer. But the when you take a core of the of the biofilm, there's other things that are occurring within that that are outside of the cellular. Uh, damn it! I'll have to I'll have to get my head like back. like a, a strata or like in outside of the cell, like yeah, on the yeah, surface. It was like there was like another whole realm outside of the cell, but within the biofilm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, sure important also with biofilms to uh, know that they're they have a very structural function, and so they create gradients within the biofilm. For example, there can be like a redox gradient, so like anaerobic bacteria can potentially survive in a non-anaerobic setting because they build a big biofilm where they're basically shielding themselves from oxygen that might be toxic to them, and so that's how. Uh, how they survive a lot of times and with a lot of anaerobic bacteria they'll just be floating around doing their thing until there's a stressor like oxygen and all of a sudden or oxygen a lack of moisture and now they're like all right now we got to like build up our bunker to protect us against that and you know it's other bacteria do it too but the biofilm has a very uh, structural thing it's like a way that these organisms are building a house or a fort for themselves to you know survive in a more hostile environment than what would be ideal for them. That was the term gradient. That was exactly like, mm -hmm. like the Winograd. Okay. The thicker the film is, the more yeah, the strata growths of strata are, are involved. And that concept is important too with soil health with and the, like, this is kind of getting a little bit of a tangent, but it's the same concept. Like soil aggregates are really important because they also create gradients. Like if you have big aggregated soil, you can have a gradient where the middle of the soil particle can have a very different redox potential, a different um, like electronegativity. It can have a different, uh, you know, kind of oxygen availability than the outside of it. So if the soil is just a bunch of little broken up, small little particles, it's going to be somewhat homogenous in terms of the, the EH and the pH niches that exist for organisms to inhabit or the bigger soil aggregates have that gradient as well. So in terms of all the benefits you get in the biochemistry of being able to like transfer electrons, tr transform nutrients, those get better and better the more that there's aggregates and biofilms are doing a similar thing too. Yeah. And again, you know, people, you know, originally we, we looked at biofilms as a negative. Uh, it was always antibacterial, freaking Clorox, bleach it, clean it. And in reality, you know, we've done that to the soil. We've, we've, we've sprayed so much shit on it that we've broken it back into individual particulate of the sand, silt, and clay instead of having it form those aggregates, which are so important. Because again, the aggregates provide pore space for oxygen exchange as well as uh, water, or I should say gas exchange as well as uh, water infiltration. And, and like we've said, the middle, or even the whole thing is in a gradient. So there's different levels all the way through into the center. So you destroy the aggregates, you 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 reset everything back to zero. Um, right. And, and well, guess the worst part is it collapses on itself. So now it's anaerobic. And then, 